Good evening, everybody. I am bored, and I didn't want to wait another week. So I'm doing August favorites. I mean, here it is, the 21st already. I mean, we still have another week to go. But, I don't know. start with the non-beauty things first. I bought this recently. I have a black one in the kitchen, but that one just looks too harsh. So obviously I got pink. Of course, the smell is what I don't like. Of course, it's fern rockers, but I guess I ever get famous and meet from it. My fans, so that's what I'll use. The next is the lip scrub by Sarah Happ. Everyone knows what lip scrubs are. I really want to try the one by Bite Beauty. I think that's what it's by. Mm, it's so yummy. It's like sugar and cake batter from Cold Stone. Some people here on, I think a lot of people are in this neck of the woods as I work, or what the birthday boy would say on that today show. Um, I prefer Cold Stone. Yeah, that's another fave of mine, too. Another fave, and apparently I lost my mom's glasses, sunglasses at a restaurant we went to like a month ago. I didn't have any today, and we were in Walgreens, and checking out and all of a sudden I saw that I was gonna get the plain ones and then I saw these I'm like yeah I want bling on them the next is a perfume I'm not sure how long I've had this but of course it's like 50 bucks on, on Amazon which is crazy once in a while I'll splurge for a new one. And it's by Gwen Stefani, of course. And it's G. And it's probably the only scent that she came out with that I like. And I mean, the grape one wasn't that bad, I guess. But... I did this, and I found it recently, and I was like, oh my god, there's like perfume still on here. And I'm so, as they say in Australia, stoked. My favorite lip balm is the Dr. Hauschka Lip Care Stick, and I recently found this after, I had no idea where the heck it was. There's, I need about one everywhere. Not to make up things, and uh, everybody knows I have a lot of makeup, so, and I just bought some today. And uh, making sure that I have everything for the video, because you know, pretty much everybody on YouTube does have everything ready for the video. It's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculptor. And brunette. Yeah, I have blonde hair, dark roots, and dark eyebrows. I tried the blonde one, but it doesn't really work well for me. This is probably my favorite blush. So when we were at Sephora today, I put on the Too Faced Chocolate one, and both and all three of the them because I recently lost mine and. I really should have gotten more stuff. That wasn't after my mommy basically was impatient, ready to go. But it's of course Nars orgasm blush. 
I just and now I am starting to do the the contouring. I try just playing on the cheeks and usually too much makes me look like a clown, you know. I don't want to look like Heath Ledger in Dark Knight, you know. Next in, I haven't used this in a while, but it's Mac Pantry Leaping Pot. Everybody knows what this is. I mean, tons of people on YouTube use it all the time. I'm not saying I'm a YouTuber. I'm doing videos for a while, but I don't seem like they show up for most people. Next are from the Maybelline Color Tattoo. I have bold gold and beyond to the bronze. I think everybody knows what Bad to the Bronze looks like, but bold gold is pretty much like it's good. And yeah, I do wear a lot of gold neutrally shades. I rarely wear any. I don't wear smoky eyes. I think that makes like makes people look like they you know, got punched in the eye or something. Next is this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I saw this at Walgreens. And I was like, oh, that gets... I have that. I like playing that game. It's fun. Yeah, Bad to the Browns. I'll show you it. I think in the UK it's a different name. But I can't remember what it's called over there. And this one's darker, of course. But... I think that's what I wore for Halloween 2014. I was going, of course. We were in Florida. It was pretty awesome. So there's some teenage zombie girl that scared me, but let's do a story time about that. The next is this CoverGirl Lip Lava, and I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's a bright sparkly pink, and it's... I need to get a new one. I got that for never which should this came with the for some reason Sephora seemed to think my birthday was this month oh my gosh so I got the birthday gift and it's the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and lipstick which I'm not exactly a fan of neutral colors in my mouth and I think many people it looks kind of Except if I have no lips or something. I have this swatch in my hand. I'm just trying to remember which one it is, I think. I think it's the bigger one. Right next to the my phone on my big hand. It's very... I had this. I got this in February. Actually, my aunt last year got me, like... I got one and then she got me something from Sephora and then I got another Corella. Which is super, super awesome. Yeah, see. That's what it looks like. The very thick one. And I just want to say I do not put an eyeliner under my eyes. I don't look like I have raccoon eyes or anything. Of course, everybody on YouTube loves the Kat Von D Tripper Liner. When we were at Sephora, I got another one and then the nice person behind the register well, basically, my mom was like, do you have any ones in you know, a different color? And they just gave us two. Super awesome. And that's, of course, what it looks like. Everybody knows what it looks like. I guess my nails are real. I'm trying to grow this one out for a while. My favorite mascara, of course, is Lancome Hypnos Drama. I've worn this one for years. I'm not sure how many, but... Another favorite. It's on my phone, so I can't take it off, but it's my Mofi. And this is my other Mofi. Yes, I have pictures on it. That's Amanda Shaw. That's my cat. And this is Mac in Florida. Yeah, in case you notice my pictures. My walls, yeah. Um, also, another thing that I just got today was this blanket. <sighs> matches everything else, including my curtains, which matches another blanket that I have. And my purse and a movie and this. And 
my nighty and a bunch of other stuff. Now I have a lot of red lipsticks on my face, so I'm gonna do it. This is Nars Corella. Where did pomegranate go? I had it here someplace. I don't know where it went. I really want to try other Spy Beauty lipsticks and, and other exciting things. This is my old favorite eyeliner, and I traded in this one for Tripper. Sorry, Benefit. I mean, I still like it and all, but I don't know what's. Kind of goopy. Actually, I actually have two of those. And I can't seem to find it. Hmm. Yeah. My favorite drink from Starbucks is the Starbucks Refresher. It tastes like strawberries. I also like strawberries and cream and hot chocolate, but so thankfully it was a beautiful day but a little windy outside. And I don't know where. It's in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Another fave lipstick is from Urban Decay, and I just got a new one today. Of course, this is in different than the new Vice packaging. This one is from the Gwen Stefani collection. This is the Gwen packaging it's wearing off, but this is biased right here. And it looks like this. And it's in a different tube. But I had to get a new one because, of course, I want like all the colors, seriously. This is what it looks like. It's silver instead of black and gold. I guess Gwen, yeah, look, I love opening lipstick, seriously. It's like opening a new book or something. So look, I had to get that. That's my Wednesday lipstick and last night. Until I get my, another candy yum yum from MAC. I need about six of them, then I can almost close to back to Macing it soon. Plus I got Rocksteady and Wonderland, because I have the lip liner for Wonderland, but I'm almost out of this. Another fave is Max Fix Plus. I think everybody on YouTube talks about it. Of course, when I got it in a store in Chicago, they were like, I forgot to specify that I wanted the travel one, which is like 10 bucks. This is what's on my nails, and I need to do them. Paint them. This is by Essie, and it's watermelon. I also have the Garnier Meisler water. I need to use that tonight. For my pretty lipsticks, I have. For the cheap one, the cheapest one I have is, I think, is the Grimmel Kate Moss and 111. Of course, when I saw it with that Walgreens, of course, like I did with the other one, I was like, hey, that's my lipstick. This next one is by Sephora, the brand. And. Never figure it out. I don't know, but yeah, my lipsticks look the same. Pretty much. I also like the Mac Candy Yum Yum lip liner. Like I said, I need to get the lipstick again. And the next Jungle Eye Pencil Milk. My Clinique Foundation. I also have this Revlon one too. I kind of like Clinique better. I just used up the my old concealer, so I only have, I only have the Clinique concealer now. These are from Urban Decay from the Gwen line, and I saw these and basically fangirled over it again, like I did when they were part of the Gwen collection, of course. And Now I have the lip liner for Spiderweb. And this is 714. I have the lip liner for that, and now I really wish I got the 
a new liner for it. And I like how they stamped the Urban Decay logo in there. Of course, Spiderweb is darker. Seven oh. fourteen is like tomato we red, like a lot of other lipsticks are, except for Corella. This one is. I wrote the names on there, and this one my mom has to clean it up. She doesn't like that too much. Fudge. So I have Spiderweb and Seven Fourteen and One Eleven. I mean, yeah, it's like Spiderweb and Cruella are about the same, just a different price. I mean, Cruella is like thirty, and. The other one, the Rimmel one, is like six bucks, I think, or something like that. Now well, I store them in a little lipstick thingy from uh, TJ Maxx. What else? Oh yeah, I love ginger ale. I think I drink it like I have a can of it every day, which I really need to stop. I love my Mac palette. I just only use certain colors, and I wish that I could back to Mac them if I could ever get one of these babies out. But I love Shimmer Shimmer by Make It Geek, and uh, All That Glitters by Mac, and this is a mythology. It's kind of a like cranberry-ish color. I use this one in the corner of the eye sometimes, besides milk. And of course, as usual, I can never remember the name of the color. And I put a dent in it. How cute. Oh yeah, blank type, that's what it is. That's my class ring. And I love this color here. This blue one. It's called Aquadisiac. Now, when I went to Mac in Florida, the nice lady let me go through all these drawers of these things. I'm like, either there were a few that they didn't have. So, you know. And now they're down at six bucks, which is awesome. But I think Makeup Geek needs to, there's somebody, every company needs to make their things like five bucks instead of ten. I mean, the color tattoos are pretty cheap. They're less than 10 bucks, I think. I also like this Clinique Cheek Pop and Plum Pop, which I don't have on today. I have, I have orgasm instead. The world comes comes up with these names, seriously. I mean, somebody said that with Urban Decay's new Vice ones, the one that I have, I bought today. This is my Urban Decay Naked palette. The first one that came out like, I don't know. I saw this in the store, and of course, and told my mom that I'm like, hey, I have that. And I'm hitting pan, and I really wish I'd gotten a few of these colors. I mean, like, four are hitting pan already. I burned and in Sidecar and Half Baked. And I also like toasted too, because it's pink. I don't really use all the colors. I wish I could depot the, or you could pop them out or something. And of course, the Gwen palette. I got this for Christmas last year. Like I said, I have tons of Gwen stuff. That's why I was there for the last two Halloweens. Now, some people really on YouTube said they didn't like the colors in this. And one person said that they returned it. I'm like, it's Gwen. I mean, I don't use, like, these three right here. But for this, this one here, it looks kind of like number two. That sounds gross. I also don't really use this blue one, but I just think it's really pretty looking. It looks like stars outside. 
when you're outside and there's no street lights or any crazy just out there. Taking that off your eyes, seriously. That's danger. This is 1987. I guess I like my gold colors. Okay. I do like this gold color from Makeup Geek, but I can't remember the name of it. It's very similar to Max Goldwine, which is, like I said, a color I tried to get when we were in Chicago, but they didn't have it in, in Florida. I mean, to any didn't order it. Yeah. I put these three colors on. I put blonde bath water and skimp on my... Eyes today with a bunch of other colors, so and Trooper, of course. I think everybody knows what I bought. I think knows that I bought another one when we were there. Can somebody please respond to me about whether or not you shake this? Because I'm sure people do, do that. I'm sure God, I got another one. I mean, I'm not running out or anything, I hope, but we're at Cat display and I was like eh, I'm just gonna get another one and then the, then I guess the next person on the register gave me two so I said as Carmen would say in South Park sweet now tomorrow I'm gonna do a look with the everlasting liquid lipstick by the lovely cat and outlaw I know what everybody says they like um what's the name of that color And I just found something that was in that bag all along. It's the lovely lipstick on my lips, and I really need this video before it hits half an hour. This is Max Revo. I really wish there was a Mac around here. But my closest mall in Moline, Illinois, finally has a Sephora, so I don't have to go to Iowa to get one. I'm sure in September, my September faves will probably try on all these awesomeness. So I'm either going to try moon, the Moon Dust Eyeshadow by Urban Decay and Cosmic when I saw this. I was, like, love at first sight. Or the Urban Decay Bordello. That one that I bought in Chicago in February. I think it's three. Th it's regular. It's a bit. Or Fix Plus. Just kind of nasty to use saliva a little bit. Eh? Another thing is my cat, but I'm not sure where she went. She's around here somewhere being silly with mommy. But yeah. Probably not going to do eyeliner because I don't really want to. You know, that's like when I go out and stuff. That's probably the only time I wear it. But. Sometimes the packaging really irritates the hand of me. And I wish that they would make these in, so I can put these on my palette. I mean, I could try doing that. I'll get that thing figured out eventually. I hope. <laughs> Wish me luck. If I do, I'll do it, try to do a video on that. I'm not going to do that iron thing like everybody seems to be able to do. But I just think I'm going to lug around this whole container. I mean, I do that with my Mac and all my palettes. And yeah, I take them all with me when I travel. Okay. I mean, sometimes I'm gone for two weeks on my trips in the summertime. This is the Marc Jacobs birthday gift. Like I said, I don't really wear that color, but I mean, I've been kind of obsessed with the Urban Decay ex-girlfriend that was part of, again, the, part of the Gwen stuff. And now back in the vice thingies. I eh, can't get this play thing open. But this might be my New Year's Eve liner. I mean eyeshadow. Besides like all the, my gold stuff. That was kind of what I did today. That video's up if anybody wants to see it. But I'm gonna end this video because it's getting really long. And I'll see everybody tomorrow morning. 
probably no make probably barely any makeup on. I will see everybody tomorrow. Night everybody.